So during EPOG, I, I worked quite extensively with groups like Rethinking Economics. Uh, and after, after I graduated, I, I was able to work full time for a number of different organizations which were trying to make economics more diverse and a more interesting science. Um, I've now since started a PhD where I'm working on the macroeconomics of the energy transition. I have started a PhD, which I am now about to end in a few days, a PhD between economics and sociology, heterodox economics, of course, but with this interdisciplinary background that EPOG helped us to develop. And yes, I, I think EPOG was instrumental in orientating myself towards uh, this kind of uh, professional path. So after graduating from EPOG, I ended up staying in Paris and continuing my studies in a PhD program at the Université Sorbonne Paris Nord. Um, I finished that program and then ended up uh, now finding a position here at the, at the Banque de France, at the Central Bank of France, working on a report uh, with other central bankers through the network for greening the financial system to really help to, to understand and assess the risks related to, to biodiversity loss uh, to the financial system. EPUG has just been a massive opportunity. Uh, it, it's allowed me to, to see different cultures and different parts of the world and different ideas, different types of economics that I, I, I otherwise would not have been exposed to. Uh, and I'm now using that in my, my everyday life, and my career, uh, by, by pursuing this PhD and hopefully staying in academia, working with some of these ideas that I, I was originally taught in EPOG. EPOG, I think, helped me to find out which kind of economist I wanted to be. Not some kind of uh, economist studying theoretical fantasies, but uh, real world economics, studying real world dynamics. I really liked also the international opening it brought us, the way we just meet people from all over the globe. It was really rewarding to be in EPOG. Academically, EPOG was a, an immense opportunity for me because it really brought together a lot of academics and uh, policymakers and practitioners into the classroom. And it helped to reconnect a lot of these kind of abstract ideas uh, and bring them down to reality. I think the first image that comes into my mind are those gathering in the open near the Seine, near uh, the University Paris 7, where we had classes, where we would just meet and, and bring something to eat, to drink and chat for hours um, of all kinds of topics in all kinds of languages. Yes. Maybe it's the, yeah, a good picture of what EPOG was to me. One of the fondest memories that I have from EPOG that I think really encapsulates the entire experience was when Jean-Claude Trichet came to come and speak with us. And we had this really lively discussion with him. And I just remember being really amazed looking at all of my colleagues from all over the world and, and, and everyone having this very informed discussion and, and a, a really lively debate with, with uh, Jean-Claude Trichet. And I, I think that was really great. I think the, the thing that stands out the most for me was, was every Friday afternoon after our last classes, we would go to the river and have a big picnic with the entire, the entire cohort, with at least like 30 of us all sitting on the banks of the Seine, eating cheese and drinking wine and, and just really learning from each other. And that, that's sort of the thing that, that sticks with me most was the community that we built in these, these after seminar. Um, party is too big of a word, but these after seminar get togethers.